Offset and Cardi B don't get along. At this time, it is a fact. Even if the two artists may have kids together, their encounters in 2024 are not polite. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. When they chose to share their private problems on Instagram Live a few weeks ago, they ignited the internet. The Cardi B and Offset story seems to have reached its climax, according to fans worldwide. On October 22nd, Cardi made the decision to disprove our assumptions. The WAP rapper reportedly made extremely harsh remarks about her ex in a seemingly unplanned tirade of tweets. Cardi B made a strong statement, saying that after everything they've gone through together, she truly despises Offset. Bro I wish the worst on this man, she asserted. I never hated somebody so much and these bees be so thirsty to have him. Cardi then referred to the father of her children as garbage, and asked women to take him off of her hands. Please take this man off my hands this garbage bag is too heavy, she wrote. Cardi B had plenty more to say, though. Fans tweeted at her to speak more positively about Offset, but it did not take. I truly hate this dirty ass narcissistic piece of ST, she added. And his family and his friends never check him. Then, the rapper dropped a bomb. It was alleged by another user that Cardi B still harbors feelings for Offset. This did not sit well with her. The artist went on to say categorically that she wished her ex-partner dead. I want him to get hit by a F King truck, she announced. He really is just a dark cloud on anybody life he enters. The most unexpected part of Cardi's Twitter meltdown, however, came when she defended Offset. Fans began to theorize that Offset was the person who called Child Protective Services on the rapper a day prior. But Cardi B disproved the theory. She added another slur, but she made it plain that he would never treat her that way. That's not what happened that got nothing due with him, she asserted. He a loser but he didn't do that it was a prank call he had to fly out and I couldn't be there cause I'm hospitalized. Cardi B deleted the tweets shortly after concluding her rant. The venom with which she spoke about Offset will not be forgotten by fans, however. The same is likely true for Offset. To do a little f prank call with Child Protective Services to come to my f house. Cardi B recently disclosed on Instagram Live that she had recently had a visit from Child Protective Services and even a few police officers. All things considered, any parent would find this visit concerning. At 11 p.m. while my children are sleeping because there's an anonymous call that there's been going on that, that my kids have been getting abused and beaten. Many people believe that a visit of this nature would indicate misconduct. But in this case, it appears very obvious that small-time stands are getting involved. During her Instagram livestream, Cardi clarified that someone had phoned CPS and claimed that violence was taking place. Are you fucking dumb? This is when the pranks are getting too far. Even though Cardi B denies any misconduct, when CPS receives calls like this, they are forced to look into the matter. We are the only color people in my neighborhood completely. Having said that, it is utterly apparent that someone who is a fan of another artist or a hater would attempt to have Cardi's children removed. Cardi expressed agreement with that sentiment and stated that she plans to sue both CPS and the individual who placed the initial contact. Her admirers are undoubtedly supporting her, even if it is uncertain if she will be able to find that individual which is quite unlikely because calls are anonymous. Cardi B and her family are already going through a difficult moment. A few weeks ago, she gave birth to her third kid. To make matters even more stressful, she and Offset are presently going through a divorce. We can be certain that Cardi was feeling irate and frustrated with individuals who were attempting to undermine her during this CPS contact. Despite his split from Cardi B, Offset is moving on by hanging out with some new women at the club, one of whom resembles his ex. Late Thursday or early Friday morning, the rapper dropped at Mademoiselle Raw Bar Plus Grill. He was seated at a table with two women, one of whom was talking into his ear while the other was examining her phone. Offset appears to have a type because the woman conversing with the former Migos musician has certain physical characteristics in common with his separated wife. We don't see any PDA going on here, so perhaps she's simply a friend. It's difficult to tell from these images and videos alone, but since Offset has returned to the dating scene, anything is possible. Over the past few weeks, Cardi B and her ex-boyfriend Offset have experienced many highs and lows in their relationship. She stated that she had moved on from their relationship, threatened to sue him, and more. In response, he claimed his friends had warned him about her, accused her of having an affair when she was expecting their child, and more. As of right present, their feud seems to have mostly subsided. Last weekend, they were even seen together at the same club, although it seemed to be an accident because they made sure to keep their distance. Even the claim that Cardi has moved on with Stefan Diggs has been the subject of some gossip. Instead of confronting these claims directly, she chose to describe them as funny and cute. Offset has also provided input on them. Fans were asked in an Instagram poll by the outlet if they thought the reports about Cardi and the football player were true. It's interesting that Offset voted. Social media users are amused despite the fact that it's unclear exactly what he had to say about the rumors. Now what did Set vote? Lol, one asked in the comments section. What makes it funnier is the fact that Offset voted and they still live in the same house, another said. 
people thought they were a new couple when they saw Amanda Shumpert and Amber Rose together in Miami Beach last month. Additionally, this comes after the former's divorce with Tiana Taylor, which, despite some rough moments, appeared to be a rather amicable separation overall. In addition, Shumpert recently addressed and dispelled these accusations. With college year to go. At any other time, y'all would've just let us eat, but nah, that's okay, He said, indicating that there's nothing romantic going on between him and Rose. Problem solved. Not exactly, actually. Iman Shumpert didn't immediately respond to Daja Nicole, a friend of Tiana Taylor, who said that the alleged Amber Rose liaison wasn't just genuine, but also started before to Shumpert and Taylor's divorce. This is so funny to me, Nicole commented. Because when we were on that boat on New Year's Eve you and your friend villainized me for peeping the sneaky ST that was going on while Tiana and her kids were on the same boat, and I was right. Nicole explained that Shumpert allegedly tried to cry a river on Taylor's phone the next day. My friend has been nothing but graceful this whole time but you played a F king game, she added. Tiana I'm sorry that I got this deep but I'm tired of taking the high road. You've done everything in your power to save this man and his image. Before concluding her thoughts, Nicole tagged Rose's Instagram account. At Ambrose I wish you would deny it for these blogs because I recorded the whole conversation. And y'all making excuses about him being single but he was good and married when this ST started. Corny ass. She wrote. In the comments section of the shade room, Nicole's feelings and apparent airing out of Shumpert, and Rose's activities sparked reactions from social media users.